All right, Washington fans, the day is finally here. We never thought it would come. You guys have actually done it. It is official now. Dan Snyder approving the sale of the Washington Commanders to an ownership group led by Sixers owner Josh Harris announcing today on Twitter that the deal has been approved. Now we're just waiting on the 31 other owners in the NFL to approve the transaction, selling for $6 billion. Honestly, I expect this to be a quick 31 to 0. Everyone hates Dan Snyder. He's been a scorn on the league since he's bought the team in 1999. Now 20 plus years of being awful, the worst run organization in the NFL. Looks like it is finally coming to a close. I'm so happy for you guys. Nobody better to summarize how you should feel right now than Barstool's own PFT commentator. We did it! The man is hyped. We are celebrating for you guys. I'm going to go through, break down exactly everything going on with the story, give you my two cents on the whole situation. But if you could first, drop a quick like on this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. New videos every single weekday, but let's get into it. All right, so the rumors had been swirling for about a year now that Dan Snyder was finally looking to move on from the Washington Commanders. He's owned the team since 1999, and he's been surrounded by controversy, scandal, year after year. It's always something. Horrible facilities, horribly run organization, futility on the football field. But now he's going to an ownership group led by Josh Harris, current owner of the Philadelphia 76ers and the New Jersey Devils, kind of the exact opposites of each other. Dan Snyder always wanted to get his hands on things, always had to meddle, always had to put his fingerprints on everything. Harris is not that guy. He's kind of a step back, hire professionals, let them run the organizations, let me enjoy my teams, let me make some cash along the way. And this is huge, huge news for DC area fans. The stadium is turned into a dilapidated dump. There's always a video throughout the season of crazy shit happening at that stadium. People falling out of the stands, rain pipes breaking on them. Probably sewage if you're honest with yourself. But he is now gone. It's a $6 billion deal, which will make it the largest deal in professional sports history in North America. Pretty big deal. And now Harris owns three of the big four. Only a Major League Baseball team waiting on him. I expect the ownership should approve this. It's not 100% official. They have to go to a vote for the 31 over other owners. No chance they don't go 31-0 on this. And if someone does vote against this, they should be run out of the league next. I know the NFL ownership is kind of like a cabal. They kind of control the way things go. Jerry's one of the big power brokers. He ain't going to put up with this nonsense. He's about making that cash. The NFL, the most valuable league in North America, printing cash left and right. So it's good to see Washington now has real ownership, real control, and a possibly bright future ahead of them. But Dan Snyder announced on Twitter, I'm just going to read his statements real quick on what he said. He said, we are very pleased to have reached an agreement for the sale of the Commanders franchise with Josh Harris, an area native, and his impressive group of partners. Also Magic Johnson in this group of partners, by the way. We look forward to the prompt completion of this transaction and rooting for Josh and the team for in the coming years. Well, Washington fans don't want him rooting for the team. The thing that slowed this deal up, honestly... The rumors were this deal was going to get done. It was agreed to in principle. was going to get done before the draft, but there seems to be another dark storm cloud looming over Dan Snyder and this franchise. The investigative report on what has gone on with this team over the past two decades is allegedly almost coming out, and Dan Snyder wants that sealed up. He wants that buried in the past. He wants the good old boys to stay the good old boys. And honestly, I think if that's the only thing that was holding this up, you have to prevent that from coming out. It's not worth fully knowing what a complete piece of shit Dan Snyder is to, that keeps him in ownership. I'd rather him be gone, forget about him, let's get rid of him, trash him off to the side. Now, he is making a shit ton of money on this transaction. So, 
I get why people would be apprehensive about him, but let's get rid of him. Let's forget about this. Let's bring in the new good ownership group. I'm a big fan of Harris and what he's done with my Philadelphia 76ers. Say what you want about the playoff performances, but he's invested the money. He believes in the team. He spends appropriately, puts up new top-end facilities, trying to get a new stadium built in Philadelphia. They're probably going to get a new stadium built in Washington to try to burn down the Dan Snyder era, which they absolutely should. So it's a huge, huge victory for Washington fans. It's a huge, huge victory for NFL fans all around. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.